What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going to go over one of my favorite builds in all Fall 76. We are my in-game bloodied pepper shaker build. Starting off with the weapon, this is my 3-star legendary pepper shaker that we're going to be using for the video. And the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is a plus 50% to armor penetration, has a plus 25% to weapon speed, and it also has a weapons break 50% slower. Over in the mods, we're using the dual barrel, laser magazine, gunner's sight, and the default appearance. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful Pepper Shaker build, we've made our way over to the one, the only, the level 100 Galone Behemoth that goes by the name Bruce. And this weapon is a crippler weapon, so what we're gonna do is of course, cripple him. So here we go. There we go, I think we got his kneecap, is he crippled? Yep, he's wobbling, look at him, look at him, a couple more shots and he's gonna be down for the count. Look at that. Uh oh, uh oh, he's frozen, sir? Bruce, you okay? Sir, do you need more? No, oh no. He decides to lay down. Well, Bruce, you're down, and uh, I have an extremely amazing pepper shaker. Look at this. There we go. Look at that damage. That is absolutely insane. The next targets on our list to fill the wrath of the pepper shaker are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And we're just gonna run in here and start destroying this guy right here. Fan. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, God. Goodbye, guys. There we go. Amazing. Oh, goodbye, Suicider. You didn't have to suicide yourself. I got you covered. Hello, sirs. You want to feel the power of the pepper shaker to the face? This weapon is absolutely insane. Look at this damage. And it shoots so freaking fast. Holy crap. They must have did a buff or something because this is insane. Look at this. Goodbye, Super Mutant. Fantastic. Oh, brother, do you want to go get a shot to the kneecap? There we go. Well, they're getting obliterated into pieces. Hello, sirs. How y'all doing? Y'all doing? We got vast critical to the face. And he's dead. Instantly. Uh oh. Hello, hound. You in for the power of my pepper shaker? Nice. Now I've made my way to my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name LaRonda. And we're going to start by blaster in the face. Here we go. We have a shotgun heavy gunner versus your Gatling laser. Who's better? Bring it on, LaRonda. Is that all you've got? Is it? Oh, you're doing nothing to me. Look at that. Huh. How oh, fantastic. Looks like I'm super tanky when it comes to you. Good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, don't hit me like that, you stupid overseer. There we go. Goodbye. And, um, we also have these, uh, Scorched guys over here. We might as well destroy them. Get by, you stupid freak. Okay, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Excuse you. Hey, that's a nice gun. You got that. Woo, woo, boy. Now, eat my bullets. For our final target, we have one of the most vicious creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Scorched Myler Queen that goes by the name Chi-Chi. And we're just gonna fly over here, and we're gonna try to cripple her legs. So here we go. And I think she is actually crippled already. Fantastic. Well, that's what this weapon is known for. So let me just make sure she's really crippled. There we go. A couple face shots. We don't want that poison. Oh, we got the poison. We gotta watch out with that poison. Uh oh, uh oh, 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 I'm okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You just gotta be very wary of that poison. We're gonna stand back here and continue to blast your legs. Stay away from the poison. All right. Just like that, that Myler Queen and that little Myler right there, and uh, well, this Myler right over here. Wait, just a second. Hey, hey get out of here, dude. These guys are no more. Look at that. Wow. Now, over in the build, these are the base stats to make up our in game Pepper Shaker build. So, if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats with the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards to make up our in game bloodied Pepper Shaker build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this is going to have Traveling Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all Kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We of course have all the heavy gunner cards and shotgunner cards at 2 star to get the maximum damage out of this weapon. Over in perception, we have 7 and this one can have concentrated fire at 1 star. Bats now target limbs, focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. We have ski shooter at 3 stars. Your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread. We have glow sight at 3 stars. Deal plus 60% to damage to glowing enemies. Over in endurance, we have 9 and this one can have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical at 1 star. The greater the rats, the greater the strength, and max plus 5 to strength. We have Kinfina at 3 stars. Any games you take last 100% longer, and we did take overdrive and psycho buffs in this video. We have rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. 
Over in Charisma, we have six, and this one can have filter gen at one star. Stim packs and Radboy will now work much more quickly. We have Stranger Numbers at one star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your damage are also mutated. We have Tinderizer at three stars. Make a target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have Tin, and this one can have Nerdridge at three stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Power User at 2 stars. Fusion Cores now last 60% longer. We have Stabilize at 3 stars. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have Batteries included at 2 stars. Energy Weapon Ammo weighs 60% less. Over in Agility, we have 14 and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action Point to generate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. We have Enforcer at 3 stars. Your shotguns gain a 15% stagger chance and a 30% chance to cripple limb. Over in luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% to bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You will never mutate from Rads and Radway will never cure your mutations. We have Critical Savvy at 1 star. Critical hits now only consume 85% of your critical meter. We have 1 gun army at 3 stars. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have Ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's range damage, no PvP. And we have Clash Freak at 3 stars. The negative effects for mutations are reduced by 75%. Over in Legendary Perk Cards, these are the Legendary Perk Cards that help make up our in-game build. Starting off in Strength, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out, Intelligence maxed out, Luck maxed out, Electric Absorption at 2 stars, and Far Flung Fireworks at 3 stars. These are the Legendary Perk Cards, and now let's get to my armor, buffs, and mutations. Over the armor, what we're using is my full set of T65 Overeaters Power Armor, and the reason we go with Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters, and if you eat a perfect bubblegum, your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for a full hour. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Skull Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst meters do not increase. Over in the Kim buffs, we took Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and we took Psycho buffs to get a plus 29 to our max HP, a 1.35 to our endurance, a 1.35 to our strength, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this, and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of my favorite builds in all of Fall City 6, my in-game rifleman build, so if you want to check it out, I'll link in the screen right now you see that that is my rifleman video 